All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start talking about two table databases. I talked about how all of our databases are relational, how you can actually define relations between tables in your database. And this is actually going to be where we start talking about how to do that, how to actually define those relations. So I'm just covering um, uh, the section 11.10 in the focus part of the chapter. So as a review, Relational databases allow you to define relationships among rows and tables. Um, so in this example right here, we have the salesperson table where every record for a salesperson has a country code. And then we have a location table where every country code is associated with a country. And then this location table might have other information about the, um, you know, maybe the headquarters, where the headquarters for this particular uh, location is located, say Nashville, Tennessee, as the uh, city and state fields for that or something, right? Um, but we also talked about the idea of the primary key, which is a field that uniquely identifies a record in this table. So in the location table, the primary key is the country code. And then the foreign key is another table's primary key as a field in this particular table. The country code in salesperson table is a foreign key because it is a rep it uh, holds values that correspond to the primary key in the location table, of which country code is a primary key. And then the relation maps the foreign key pointing to the primary key. So the relation here would say country code, the foreign key country code in salesperson table points to the primary key country code and location table. This one for uh, sales ID 1001, the country code one points to uh, country code one in location table. Uh, and we call the salesperson table, in this case, the child table and the location table, the parent table. All right, so what I have here is the um, Charleston sales solution uh, referenced in section F11.10. Uh, I followed the instructions to actually import it, which I would recommend that you go through yourself and pay careful attention to, because you'll need to do that for your own uh, work in the exercises. But once you actually have it imported, you'll see that there are two tables in here, location and salesperson. Now what we have to do is we um, actually make the relation itself. So I'll right click and I'll hit edit data set with designer. And now we are in the um, actual data set designer itself. So the data set designer shows uh, representations of both uh, tables right here, the uh, fields that each one has and some other ways of like representing those tables right here. But if we want to actually add a relation, we just uh, right click some empty area, can it add and then relation just like that. Uh, and then this pulls up this dialogue right here. Uh, this relation, you know, they start out with location underscore salesperson, which is uh, actually really helpful because they immediately identify the um, connected country code and country code right here between the, um, you know, the location table and the salesperson table right here. So this is actually set up perfectly because, um, you know, parent table right here. See, the, the uh, country code for location right here is the primary key for this one. So that needs to be on the left. So location needs to be the left one right here. The parent table, the one with uh, the primary key version of this field should be on the left. And then any uh, foreign keys, and there can be multiple foreign keys for any one primary key, but any foreign keys should be to the right. So in this case, the uh, child table right here is salesperson. Uh, so salesperson has the foreign key version of country code. So it is a child table. It is on the right side of this. Now the relation is uh, location salesperson because location is primary or location is parent. Uh, salesperson is the child right there. Uh, we only need the relation um, right here. We don't need to worry about this uh, foreign key constraint stuff or anything like that. We don't need to worry about the update rule stuff because of that um, 
or nested relation. No worries about any of that right now. We just need to worry about the relation only. So we'll hit OK. And now we see this little line that shows that there is a relation between the location table and the salesperson table, which is really helpful. All right, well, that is how to essentially set up a two table database in your uh, project. Uh, essentially, it's about importing the database in or creating the database as normal. But then once you actually have a database in your project that happens to have multiple tables, uh, how you actually relate those tables together using a relation. So that's an important part out of this video. So now that we have all of that, uh, what I'm going to go through is how to actually start getting data from databases in the next video.